If you're feeling foggy and unenergetic, then this video will teach you how to do a dopamine detox the right way. You may be surprised by what can cause a dopamine imbalance. These things might not be as obvious as you think, and they can sneak up on you without even realizing it. This video is going to show you how to make sure your dopamine levels stay balanced all day long. Dopamine is connected to our brain's reward system. Dopamine is released in anticipation of a reward. So, why does dopamine have such a terrible reputation nowadays? And why is a dopamine detox being discussed? Dopamine is a hormone that is crucial for motivation, getting things done, creativity, focus, inspiration, and memory. But it also has a negative side effect that can lower your productivity and effectiveness. If this is the case in your scenario, it may be time for a dopamine detox. Apparently, it is not the fault of dopamine, but rather of the source from which we receive dopamine. Our brain doesn't care where it receives its dopamine, so it can be satisfied with fast food, TV programs, or social media, which stimulates the brain to release this hormone. The hard part is that most of present technology which releases a flood of dopamine in your brain, and we progressively become used to absorbing dopamine on a regular basis. Dopamine fasting. What it is and how to do it. You are feeling tired of how you spend the time of your life. You don't know how to stop mindless internet browsing. You want to make everyday activities more exciting and enjoyable without having your phone in your hand regularly, so you don't feel lonely. There are various reasons for this, but the overall goal is the same. To develop a more positive connection with your smartphone, the internet, and the digital world in general. The purpose is to disrupt the cycle of unhealthy behaviors, such as mindlessly browsing the web or picking up your smartphone. To recognize that wanting something is not the same as liking it. T help the brain to re-establish dopamine receptors, so that everyday activities become more enjoyable. Our current understanding of recovering from addiction is like this. Understanding how addiction changes your brain, plus break negative habits and compulsive behaviors, plus create a better life, plus learn to control your emotions better, equals success. To do a dopamine detox you need to break the compulsive pattern giving you time to breathe, create a healthier life. And if you make efforts to do this, remember to learn controlling your thoughts and emotions better. How to do dopamine detox the right way? What is the proper approach to detox from dopamine? The duration is 2 to 12 weeks. Two weeks is the bare minimum for noticeable results. The standard time frame for internet addiction therapy is 12 weeks. This is also comparable to common 90-day or 100-day challenges. 1. Eliminate time-wasting activities from your life. Here is the general rule. Don't do anything that will put you into zombie mode. When you're in zombie mode, you're scrolling, watching, or playing for hours and hours without actually enjoying it. But you are not able to stop because social media, content aggregators, like YouTube and Reddit.in, addition to Twitch, video games and so on that result in increasing the release of dopamine for almost no effort. You know what you're good at. You may find yourself reasoning that you don't have to give up these things, that you just need to learn how to control yourself, and all will be well. But those reasons are excuses because you wouldn't have the problem in the first place if you could control your actions. It is quite challenging to handle your behavior when your dopamine receptors are low. You have to challenge yourself if you want to improve your life, because doing uncomfortable things will pay off forever, and you can always return to your old habits. If you're having trouble stopping, it might be an indication that you really want it. Distracting apps should be removed from your smartphone, and distracting websites should be blocked in your browser. Take a few serious steps, and when your brain is telling you that you need to really watch Twitch in the evening because you love the streamer, remind it that you can return to it when your dopamine detox is over. What about tasks that are necessary, 
but also lead to obsessive behavior, such as email checking. Set a time in the day and how long you will permit yourself to do this. You can, for instance, read emails just at 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. for 15 minutes each time. You might also start a dopamine detox timer to remind yourself that you're making an effort to improve. It might be as easy as recording the number of days you've been following your new routine on a sheet of paper, beginning with zero. 2. Participate in real-life activities. You will most likely relapse if you do not create a more meaningful life without any of the Internet activities and do not attempt to address the fundamental factors leading to addictive technology behavior. You'll be right back to your harmful habit in no time. What exactly do we mean by a more meaningful life? You can, however, take part in activities that will make you feel better. So what are those activities? There are several things you can do to help yourself engaging in real-life activities, such as taking an exercise class, doing yard work, joining a sports club, etc. Just doing things mentioned isn't going to occupy the majority of your free time, so you have to come back again to activities you abandoned due to the Internet like drawing, painting, clay work, etc. You have to learn new skills, discover new interests, it is preferable to be outside and join a community that suits you. The opportunities are limitless, so don't overthink anything and simply try a new thing to see what may be entertaining. Completing the statement, I have always wished to do, but I never had the opportunity or time, is a fantastic way to discover possibly intriguing hobbies. This way you will have the time if you undergo a dopamine detox. 3. Only consume long-form content. That's where the discussion becomes contentious, because traditional dopamine fasters generally regard long-form content to be dopamine-heavy. Furthermore, we're here for the long term, and you can't and don't want to live like a monk if you want to complete in 12 weeks. It's impossible to be productive constantly. People strive to fill their leisure time, which they waste carelessly, with productive activities. But this is unrealistic. We're not machines that can work 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We need to take a break sometimes to relax and refresh. Because useless activities are what led you into problems in the first place. You don't want to do them again. Alternatively, you should go for high-quality content that can be read slowly. But watching multiple Netflix episodes in rapid succession while scrolling through your phone isn't. It's fine to listen to music as your sole source of entertainment. Having it running in the background all the time isn't. The issue with highly dopaminergic activities is as follows. Dopamine motivates you to do things that increase your dopamine levels. Here are some of the factors that contribute to a dopamine-heavy behavior. 1. Dopamine spike when you take part in certain behaviors. 2. Stimulation strength. 3. Stimulation length. 4. Novelty-seeking behaviors. Of course, measuring this on an individual level is difficult. Yet, if you ponder for a second, you can determine this. Drugs cause a huge rise and a very high level of stimulation. Video games can shape our brains. Behavior have a significant level of strength and also a long period of practically non-stop stimulation. When compared to more long-form content, such as a movie, the length of stimulation is long, but the strength is not. What can you expect? As previously said, this type of dopamine detox is likely one of the most effective strategies to re-establish a healthy connection with the digital world. Be aware that the first few days may be challenging. You're going to be unhappy. Fortunately, most patients feel relieved quite quickly. Ordinary tasks will begin to seem more enjoyable after a few days. Your level of control will improve with time and you will become much more patient and less worried. After a dopamine detox, what should you do? 
Well, it is all up to you. Although you will most likely value reality far more. You may prefer to live your life in a somewhat more analog manner, which we shall discuss later. After dopamine detox, things usually go one of two ways in the Internet world. 1. Some activities have become boring. It feels that watching YouTube drama is a waste of time. When you watch Twitch, you will notice how lonely everybody in the chat is. When you browse Instagram, you notice how egocentric people can be. The dopamine break allows you to pause for a moment, step back and look at the online world with different eyes. 2. Other fun activities may be even more important now. It's a two-edged sword here. It's nice that playing games is now again enjoyable. However, it may also be so much fun when overdoing it again. You should be able to rebuild your routines after a dopamine break, and it is up to you to choose if you can maintain a healthy connection with a specific activity. If you have a habit that you consider addictive, you may not want to return to it just yet. A few weeks might not be enough to rebuild all of your brain's interconnections. It may be conceivable in the future, but you still have work to do right now. Why not keep doing what you're doing if you can watch a movie or consume other long-form content and have fun with it, without affecting your productivity? Ideally, you will have much more pleasure in everyday activities, allowing you to get the most out of the online world with no drawbacks. Finally, to practice short dopamine fasts, you need, for example, to spend a weekend without social media. This way you won't be constantly linked the digital world, which will help you to stay happy and healthy. Dopamine detox signs are comparable to those of addiction. You don't feel better about how you spend most of your time, you feel like you can't do the things you enjoy, and you behave mindlessly often. Although the term dopamine detox is a vogue expression, but the process is based on psychological therapy, which has been shown to be extremely helpful in the treatment of Internet addiction. Dopamine detox is a short-term remedy that might help you reassess your relationship with technology. Experiment with it. Look at how you focus your energy when you aren't scrolling and browsing social media all the time. That's all we have for you today. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this every week.